This is Dale Maharaj. Today we're going to talk about catching on the fly, jumping on a moving freight train. This is just uh, outside of the Colton Rail Yard near Los Angeles, California, back in 1982. This is David getting on a moving train. This is very dangerous. The old hobo who taught me how to ride the rails said he always tried to get on stop trains because something can always go wrong. We'll talk about that today. Even though it's dangerous, sometimes you have no choice. The Colton Yard had Doberman pinchers in it, so there's no way that David could have gone into the yard. If you're going to be a hobo, there's times you're going to have to jump on the fly. I'm going to walk through, we're going to slow it down here, what you should and shouldn't do. Okay, let's watch David a little slower now. He's, he's moving towards the train. He's making two mistakes here. One is the train's going way too fast. I wouldn't have been comfortable jumping on this train. You should never get on a train that's any faster than you can run. This one was just a little beyond that. And he's also carrying all of his gear in one arm and getting on with the other. The best thing to do is, is throw your gear on, use two hands, then pull yourself up. But I'll bet David feared the train was going so fast he might miss it and he'd lose his gear. Notice the wheel here. The old hobos called them giant salami slicers. If, if David's foot misses, He's going under the wheel, it happens fast, and you lose a leg. Now, when Sam, Michael, and I caught out of St. Louis, it was going just a little slower than this. I threw the gear on, I jumped up, I helped Sam up, you know, grabbed Michael, got Michael up. That's the best way you're going to do it if you're going to be going on the fly. Get your gear on, get up there, and help your buddies get up. But I recommend if, you, if you're going to hop freight trains and you haven't done it before, get on a stock one first in a rail yard. Try the, the jumping on the fly later. It'll be a lot safer for you.